Hello everybody, and welcome back to the channel where today we're going to be going through my week 13 predictions from last week, seeing how well I did, spoiler alert, very, very well, and looking ahead to week 14 and make my NFL predictions. Before we get into that, just another reminder, please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel for more. It means a lot to me, so let's go and get started with looking back at my week, which was really, really impressive, went 10 and 3, so great. Uh, first up, we got the Dallas game right. We got the Chargers right, even though they only scored six points. Uh, the Dolphins got right. Got the Broncos wrong. Very close game. That was 50-50 for me. I uh, got the Colts right. They got the Lions right. Got the Falcons right. Got the Buccaneers right. Got the Rams right. Got the 49ers right. Got the Steelers wrong, which everyone, I think, pretty much got the Steelers wrong there. Got the Packers right. And then I got the Jaguars wrong. That was an injury that really affected that game. So, 10-3, not bad. Pretty happy with myself. So, let's go on ahead and look forward to week 14 with, oh my gosh, that game is tomorrow. We got the Patriots and the Steelers. Patriots literally lost 6 nothing to the Chargers last week, while the Steelers got beat by the Cardinals. And Kenny Pickett is not going to be playing due to a high ankle sprain. So... I'm still picking the Steelers because the Patriots are so unbearably bad that they they might not score points again this week because of how good the Steelers' defense can be. And the Steelers, I think, will at least get field goals to win. So, Steelers over Patriots. I am not watching this game. This game is going to be total garbage. So, yeah, have fun with that. Then we got a very interesting game. We got the Buccaneers and Falcons here. Falcons barely squeaking a victory over the New York Jets. The very terrible Jets team, by the way. And the Buccaneers barely squeaking a victory over the um, Carolina Panthers. So, which of these teams is going to bumble his way into the victory is my question. And I, I just, I believe in the Falcons a little bit more, mainly because I think that their defense would really be able to handle Baker Mayfield. And I think their offense can be more balanced at times if Arthur Smith decides to use it right. Granted, that's a very big if, but I think D. John Robinson is getting a little more trust in the offense. And he and then I just think the run game would be able to really handle Tampa Bay, pound possession, and Young Way Koo is a really good kicker. So that's going to come down to the game. This is more 50-50 for me. Could be wrong, could be right, but I'm going with Atlanta in this game. Next, we got the Lions and Bears. I'm going to go with Detroit, mainly because I think they really want to show again that they can win this. I think that Chicago's going to still put up a fight. They were very close in their previous matchup, almost beating the Lions before a collapse. But I think the Lions won't let that happen after kind of having an embarrassing couple, three weeks with losses to the Packers and almost losing to the Bears and letting the Saints come back in that game. I think Detroit's going to really show out here and beat Chicago, I think, by a touchdown or two. So Detroit over Chicago. We got the Colts and Bengals. And this game suddenly became very, very interesting. The Colts have been... Beating up on some lesser opponents here, but still getting wins. Um, Gardner Minshew's been playing pretty solid. Jonathan Taylor's still out, but that defense has been playing okay. But the Bengals looked really impressive last week with Jake Browning as their quarterback against a really good Jaguars team. Granted, they lost Christian Kirk and Trevor Lawrence in that game, but it was still a really good performance by the Bengals. I'm actually going to go with the Bengals here, mainly because I think their defense is really going to give the Colts a lot of problems. And I think the offense with Browning is going to do just enough to get the win. But this is going. This is a sneaky good matchup. Sneaky good. Next up, we got the Jaguars and Browns. This it asked me before Monday night with Trevor Lawrence still healthy. I would say the Jaguars all day. But right now, I got no clue because I think both of these offenses are going to be absolutely terrible. Because this rate, this Browns don't have an offense. They got Joe Flacco quarterback, and he didn't play that good. And their defense has really become mortal here recently, giving up a lot of points, 30 points in multiple games. Jaguars lost Trevor Lawrence. We don't know how long he's going to be out. He's definitely going to be out this week. Christian Kirk most likely out for the, as out for the year, so that's unfortunate for them there. But they still got Calvin really to Evan Ingram, so it's just, I really don't know. This game is, ugh. I'm going to go with the Jaguars because I still think their offense has enough pieces and the Browns defense has been sucking recently. But this could very easily go either way. So, so we'll go with Jaguars here. We got the Panthers and the Saints. I think the Saints showed a lot of fight last week against the Lions. Coming back 21-0 to make that a game is no small feat. The 
Panthers are still the worst team in football. New Orleans should be able to win this game, I think, pretty handily. So New Orleans over Carolina. Houston and New York. Houston. No question about that. The Jets are going back to Zach Wilson at quarterback. That's all I need to know about with the State and the Jets. I think C.J. Stroud is going to have a pretty good game there. So Texas over Jets. Uh, Rams and Ravens. Rams have been playing some good football of late, but I think that streak's going to end here against a really, really darn good Ravens team. And I think they're going to be pretty solid here. Not really a question there. So Ravens over Rams. I think they should be take care of business there. Then we've got the Vikings and Raiders. Another very interesting game because I don't know what Vikings team we're going to see this week because we don't know how Josh Dobbs is going to play or if Hall is going to be back or not. Uh, Justin Jefferson is back, so that might help the offense, but we don't know. The Raiders have been playing pretty good football of late, making things competitive. I think they'll have a pretty good time here, but, man, I just... I'm still going to go with the Vikings because I think if Dobbs is right, they should win that game, but that's the question. Will he be right or not? Don't know the answer. Next, we've got the Seahawks and 49ers. Seattle has been struggling here recently. Their offense played really well against the Cowboys, but their defense did absolutely nothing. And the 49ers just blew out the Eagles. <clears throat> That's all you need to know on who I think is going to win this game. Seattle, I think, is going to put up a fight. But San Francisco is just too good. They're just too, too good. So, San Fran over Seattle. Next, we've got the Bills and Chiefs here. Another, this is going to be a very interesting game because I, Kansas City is struggling. They really, really are. Buffalo had a bye week to recoup from the Eagles loss. And I think, actually, Buffalo is going to win this game because Kansas City just, they don't look quite right and that defense not playing that good and Buffalo's offense is playing very well of late and I don't I can't believe I'm saying this but I don't trust Kansas City's offense like I trust Mahomes everything around him I don't trust at all so Buffalo over Kansas City then we got the Broncos and Chargers the Chargers scored six points against the Patriots all they need to know the Broncos are gonna win no problem there they got the Eagles and Cowboys this is gonna be a very good Sunday night football game Eagles I think are going to really try to prove something against Dallas after being smacked by San Francisco. Uh, Dallas gave up 34 points to Seattle. I think the defense is a little suspect right now. But I'm going to go with Philly over Dallas. It's going to be a close game. Very good game here. Then I got the Dolphins and Titans. We got two Monday football games? Well, the Dolphins always beat up bad teams. So we're going to go Dolphins over Titans. So not a question there at all. They just beat up bad teams. And Titans are a bad team. So Miami over Tennessee. Then I got Green Bay, New York. Going with my Packers, I think they're going to do good. Saquon Barkley could be a problem, but I think their offense line is going to allow us to get a lot of good, a lot of pressure on Tommy DeVito, force some mistakes, and I think the Packers offense is going to have a great game. So I'm going to go 56 here. So recap of my picks, I got Steelers over the Patriots, the Falcons over the Buccaneers, the Lions over the Bears, the Bengals over the Colts, the Jaguars over the Browns, the Saints over the Panthers, the Texans over the Jets, the Ravens over the Rams, the Vikings over the Raiders, the 49ers over the Seahawks, the Bills over the Chiefs, the Broncos over the Chargers, the Eagles over the Cowboys, the Dolphins over the Titans, and the Packers versus over the Giants. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll be back here soon tomorrow with potentially a new NFL video if I get time. I'm still working on some baseball stuff here in the future, so thank you guys for watching. Have a good day.